Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Get a universal message and see how you guys are doing on the soul's journey. All right, Pisces, we're going to see what guidance the universe has for you at this time. All right, so let's see. What is the guidance here for Pisces at this time on the soul's journey? New moon in Aquarius. Open up to change. Open up to change. Pisces, if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same results. The universe is saying open up to change. It's time to do something different. If you want something different to happen in your life, you can't continue to do the same thing and, and expect to get a different result. So, Open up the change. It is necessary at this time. So that's your guidance here on the soul's journey. New moon in Aquarius. Okay. Knowledge. Okay. Intellect. Think. Be smart about the choices you make. Okay. Come up with a plan. Okay. Use your brain, Pisces. I'm just saying that's the um universal message here on your soul's journey. That is the guidance. So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's collect the energy. Let's just see what's going on. Let's just see what is the energy around Pisces at this time. Let's see. What is the energy around Pisces at this time? The world. Definitely needs to be some changes here with the world. Definitely need to release and cut loose the five of pentacles. I feel like that five of pentacles you only lacking because you letting people take from you. You letting people take from you. The lovers. Hmm. Some of you need more. Some of you need like you need to feel closer to your lover at this time. You feel like they there but distant. Ten of Wands. Pisces, you have a lot of burdens on you, a lot of responsibilities. You under a lot of pressure, you know, and uh, for some of you, it's like you so used to it. You don't even see it being there, but you feel it, right? But it's like some of you just so used to it. It's just part of the norm. And, the, and and I feel like the universe is trying to say that it's time to release. Okay. You want a different result. <laughs> you got to do something different. Okay. What's crossing all this energy is the three of cups. Pisces, in spite of it all, you ready to be happy. You ready to have some fun. You just want to be around some folk that, you know, bring out the best in you. Right. So that's the energy, Pisces. This is the energy that's around you, okay? Let's see. What is it that the universe is trying to tell you you need to release? What is it that is going to complete you, right? What do you need to be completed? What do you need to be completed? Page of Pentacles, okay? It just feels like you the one who handle a lot of responsibility. I don't know what your situation is, what type of people you hang around, what your family dynamic is. But it seems like everybody depends on you to come through for them. Everybody depending on you to come through for them, Pisces, Hermit. Right? You are ready to disappear. Right? And the strength card is in reverse. And I'm going to leave it in reverse because I just feel like... You don't have the strength to walk away, right? And this kind of thing keeps coming up in some of the readings, right? When I did your energy check, it was about you needing to release, you know, um, letting go is highly necessary for a lot of you Pisces at this time. This hermit keeps coming up because, right, you, you seeking something grander or greater or more than what you've been shown or what you have. You know in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit, you can feel it that you are meant to be doing more than what you are doing. 
It's like you stuck in some type of cycle of being responsible or it's like you a magnet for those people to come and ask for stuff or it's like, you know, you are the provider, you're the protector, you're the one with the wisdom, you're the one with the knowledge. It's like if they not coming for nothing physical, they coming for something mental, they coming for something emotional. It's just like Pisces, there's this big drain on you and you don't have the strength to walk away and you need to cut some of these cords and disconnect yourself from some of these people. Right. And I'm sure it's people that you love. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's family. I'm sure it's siblings. I'm sure it's children, relationships, you know, everybody pulling on you, Pisces, and you need to find your strength to release it and learn how to separate what you need from others needs, right? Separate what is actually your energy and someone else's energy. You cannot bear the burden of everybody's responsibility and you need to have the strength to cut them off right and that's why you lacking because i felt that that somebody taken from you is breaking you down it's breaking you down you need to surround yourself around people who can pour into you not those who take you need people who can add to your life and not subtract Okay, because all this tugging and pulling on Pisces energy is draining you, right? You you feel like you ain't got nothing left. What what else is there left to give? Nine of Swords. You stressing out all because you carrying the burdens of other people's responsibility. How is this situation putting Pisces in lack? Why is Pisces okay? Because you need to. Eat. It's a karmic cycle. You, you the only one could break the chains to this karmic cycle. You have the power, right? If you do the same thing, you get the same results. You have to learn how to release. You have to start doing what's best for you. You've been fair this whole time. Nobody's going to, you know, not mess with you because you want to choose you. And if they do, that shows you who you need to cut off. Sometimes you got to test your waters. I don't care if it's children, family, siblings, close friends, Pisces. You can't bear the weight of the world right now. You have to be fair to yourself. You are the only person who can break these generational curses and end these karmic cycles. Live in your truth. Speak your truth. Justice. It's just, okay? So you lacking justice. You lacking freedom. You lacking fairness from other people. Because nobody's thinking about how you feel, how you handle it, how you come up with it, how you able to do it each and every time people need it. They don't think about what it takes from a person to keep giving out of love out of love okay so let's see what else pisces lacking stays the swords in the reverse i'm gonna leave it in the reverse because you you lacking the ability to be clear about your wants and your needs. You may speak on it, but you need to make it clear. You need to stop going back on your word, okay? Stick to the script. Otherwise, they're going to keep draining you. Be very clear about what you want. Not what you don't want, but what you do want. And stand on what you do want each and every day. I bet you it starts to change. Okay, but you lacking that ability right now for whatever reason. You feeling defeated. You feeling defeated. Let's, let's see why. 
Why is Pisces feeling so defeated? You get the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in the reverse. You feel so defeated because you're just trying so hard to me and your broken heart. You're trying to focus on mending your broken heart. But everybody keep pulling your fucking tail. Everybody keep holding on koala bear grip to your legs. Your arms. Everybody keep attaching and associating their bullshit with you. Everybody's depending on you to hold their situation together. When all you really want to do is disconnect and focus on yourself. But you don't have the strength to let go of the people you love. And I, I'm not, I mean, I get it. But I, I, I feel like you are more important at this time. You have to break some type of karmic cycle, some type of generational curse. And the only way to do it is to let people stand on their own. They got to stand on their own, Pisces. They got to learn just like you did. You keep interfering with everybody else's karmic cycles. That's why you get all the karma. Because you interfere with the universal's plans for other people. You save them. You keep throwing on your fucking cape. But you're not clear that that's what you're doing. Like, you not, you know, you don't think like, dang, I'm interfering with their karma. Like, you know, I went through my karma. Because I bet a lot of the shit you go through is because of somebody else. I be saying this all the time. What problems do you have that's yours? What are they? That's, that's yours and yours only. What, when, if it was just you all by yourself and not responsible or taking on the responsibility or burdens of others, what problems would you really have? None. Little to none. And you got to evaluate these situations. Right? Because why am I carrying everybody else's weight? Well, my shit is together. You feel me? So you're not, you know, it's just hard for you to be honest with the people you love because I think you're afraid of hurting them, right? So you sit there and let them defeat you, right? When you really want to focus on healing your heart, you really don't want to feel pain no more. You really don't want to be heartbroken no more, right? And you want to learn how to master protecting your heart but how can you really do that when you operate from your heart right you need to be wiser and more discerning that's why you need to take time away from these people so you can figure that out and focus on yourself so over here with the lovers pisces it's just that you feel distant with your partner right now okay we together but uh, you know there's just something right and that something is all you've been going through need to take control over your life. You need to set healthy boundaries. You need to set strict boundaries, right? You need to become more stubborn. Like I say, say what you mean, mean what you say. You need to be assertive, right? You ain't got time to play. Like, nobody ain't playing no more. I be in my mind like, fuck these people, okay? But that's just how I am. try to be, right? King of Wands. This is somebody you've been steady with, okay? Somebody that's been sticking by your side, okay? But you feel distant from them, but they've been sticking by your side, okay? <sighs> Something about wanting to be alone. <laughs> I just keep case can't help it. You know, like something about wanting to be alone, wanting to take that time for self. And it's like Pisces do it. Do it. Take that time for self, man. If you got to risk it all, remember, provide all your needs. All your needs, right? So, you know, Queen of Swords in reverse. You're not being honest with self. 
Look at look at this. The Ace of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. The two most honest cards in the tarot deck for me is in the reverse. Because you're not being true to yourself. Because you sacrificing yourself on the strength of your loved ones. That comes to family, relationships, partnerships, friends, work, whatever. Everything in your life. You sacrifice for everybody else. Right? And that may be why you're so blessed at the end of the day. Because blessed people are able to bless people. Right? Sometimes you may even wonder, how do I even come up with these things to be able to even give? You know, because all you do is give, give, give. But there is somebody who in, in your life who sticks by your side through all the chaos. They do. They stick by your side. But you just to a place now where you appreciate it, you're grateful for it, but it's just not enough. You want that solitude, I feel like. But you not being honest about what you want. You have to say what you want. Okay. So let's see what is all this pressure. Why you feel so burdened? More defeated, right? Things are coming to an end, right? This is over, really. It is over as soon as you set that strict boundary. As soon as you make your mind up, it could all, you can end it all in one day. And you can have a whole new beginning just like that. You can. Right? You just have to learn to release with that world card up here. You have to learn to release. Be open to change on the soul's journey. You got to be open to change. You got to do something different. You keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same results. So the burden here, all this pressure is just really making that decision to just say, fuck it. Just surrender it. Just trust in the universe. Trust in yourself. You a bad motherfucker, Pisces. You could do whatever you set your mind to. Really, you're amazing. You really, really are. You just got a tender heart. And it's like that scene from What Love Got to Do With It. I never forget my blood, right? When you love, you love hard. And it's hard for you to let go of things that you love, but sometimes you just must. Like in the last energy check, sometimes it's just necessary. Letting go ain't easy, but it is necessary. So you could be stronger, right? You got to get your strength up. You can't keep letting these people drain you and take from you. You can't keep carrying the burdens of everybody else's responsibility. You doing more than enough. You are so amazing. And I appreciate everything you've done for other people. I appreciate all your good deeds. If nobody ever say thank you, I must say thank you for them right now. Because without you, a lot of people would be messed up. But you have to ensure your stability as well. You have to make sure that you're in a great place mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. You have to make sure that you have an unbreakable relationship with those things within you. Okay? Because I care about your well-being. I care about you. Okay? So you got to get the, to get it together. You It's, it's going to take you to live in your truth. And that's how you break these karmic cycles. You have to learn to forgive yourself for you know, your past indiscretions or whatever you need to forgive yourself for. And you have to forgive your uh, others too, you know, and really do it and really move on, right? But Pisces, you got to take control over your own life right here, right? Everything could go away just like that. Put ain't nothing to it but to do it. If you want a different result, you have to do something different. And in this situation, it's basically just falling back, falling back and saying no. Saying no. Tell the people what you want. Speak on what you want, not what you don't want. So, because I feel like this could be over with all these endings, right? Yeah. And and with endings come new beginnings, come change, come positivity, come blessings. 
Because you're going to reap what you sow regardless. You never, you know, get away from this karmic energy. But you got to stop carrying everybody else's karma. The universe said to me, when you, when you save these people each and every time they come to you, you know, you, you, you um, shift the way it was supposed to go. So that shit start coming to you because you're you're the one who want to put your cape on, right? So whatever they experience, you got to go through it too. But as soon as you learn how to end it and live in your truth and be honest and speak on what you do want, life starts to change immediately. Good things start happening. It starts looking up. You start feeling better, doing better, getting better, right? You get, you you're going to get your strength back. You'll be strong enough to come back and still save them. Because your job is not to leave them for dead, but your job is to ensure that you are stable. The job is to ensure that you have an excellent relationship with your physical, mental, and spiritual, and emotional health. That's what it's really all about. Being in alignment with yourself. That's what's most important. You can't keep sacrificing that part, right? You can't keep sacrificing that part. But as soon as you set that boundary... You know, and, and mean what you say and say what you mean. You, you Good things start happening for you, right? People have to, you know, deal with their own shit just like you did. Okay? Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay? Otherwise, you could be depressed. You could stay depressed, right? Because you want to give up the power of love, you know, Nobody's saying you don't have to love people, but we just saying you have to love yourself more, right? Not being in your truth and not doing that makes you depressed, okay? So let's see what's crossing the energy. Ooh, it's the devil showing up. I haven't seen him in a while, right? And, it's, and this is all toxic for you, right? You could be addicted to saving people. You could be addicted to throwing your cape on, Right? But it's toxic for you and, and you in deep, right? But you have the power to break the chains to all those karmic cycles and generational curses, okay? It's going to take you. So I hope this resonated, Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. It's the first chakra and it's the base chakra. And this one is relevant to independence. I know what my needs are and I actively pursue them knowing that I will be guided and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in life. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. I love this. Independence. Take control over your life, Pisces. Independence is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.